thoughts are concepts. It's in the brain. You can't touch it. It's, it's, they're nowhere. Okay. Emotions, feelings, emotions are physiological. Or you can say physical. It happens in the body. For instance, if I say I'm sad, but you see me um, playing with children, let's say, I'm smiling, um, would you believe I'm sad? Mm. But if I am... It could just be acting, but... It uh, could be acting. Okay, good thing. But if I am sad, do I have to tell you I'm sad? No. Yeah, how do you know that I'm sad? How do you know somebody's you sad? Like... You can see it. Where do you see it? On your face. In the body. On the face, on the body. You know, I'm walking slow, maybe. I'm crying, maybe. What if you're angry? What happens? Like, you know, if your face goes red, you're walking faster. What if you're scared? You're running away. Uh, you can see from the face, emotions are physiological. They are physiological, whereas thoughts are concept. And where do the emotions happen? Amygdala. Where do the thoughts happen? Prefrontal cortex. Therefore, look at the position of amygdala, Nikki. It's right next to the body. And as I said, emotions happen in the body. Now, a test for you, Nikki. Which part of the brain children have? The blue part. The blue part. part. Perfect. Which of what? Which part of the brain they are developing? The orange part. Orange part. Yes, Let's have a look. Emotions are physiological, physical. That and it's in the opposite direction of the thought. So let's have a look at the child. It will explain you a lot of their behaviors. Children are emotional. Yeah? Absolutely. Children are reactive. They do things first and then they think. Therefore, as adults, we say, what were you thinking? Guess what? They weren't thinking mm -hmm. <laughs> because they're, the thinking brain is still developing and that the blue brain has already sent a message fight flight freeze 